In this video, I bought a bunch of Lego sets from Whoppy Bricks. I got a lot of cool stuff and I even bought some retired Lego Star Wars sets. Let's take a look at them. So the first thing I got was this Death Star Cannon set from 2019. It was a really good price at under $20 and it was packaged really nicely. The whole second bag was actually sealed and the whole set was complete. The build in the set is really cool and is definitely worth it. I really like the Death Star Cannon design and the little window outlook thing. The set also comes with this weird thing on the side where you can have Obi-Wan flip a lever and it makes this weird crystal thing go up. I know this is from the movies, but I don't exactly remember. The minifigures in this set are really cool. We have Obi-Wan. Old Ben Kenobi with a hood. He also comes with a really nice cape. We also get the Death Star Gunner, which is a figure I do not have yet, and I really like the helmet piece. The second set I bought was this Mando's N1 Starfighter Microfighter. That's kind of a tongue twister. The set was only $7, and I was glad to pick it up because the Mandalorian minifigure in here is sweet. The build is also not that bad with some nice detailing on it. I also really like the little cockpit for Baby Yoda or Grogu. He is the same as all the other Grogu's. The Mandalorian, however, is slightly different, but only in the helmet. This helmet is updated with a bunch of new printing. He also has the actual Mandalorian face underneath instead of just the black piece we've been seeing for a while, so that's cool. The third thing I have here is this Lego Friends set. I didn't buy this at Whoppy Bricks. I bought this a while ago at a rummage sale, and I only bought it because it was really cheap and it seemed like it had some really nice accessories in it. It also came with these really cool robots, which I don't know what I can use them for, but they are kind of interesting. The fourth set I bought was this Resistance X-Wing set. It was under $10, and I thought the minifigure was really cool, even though I'm not a big fan of of the sequel trilogy. The X-Wing is a pretty cool design with the blue and gray, and the wings can move. The minifigure in the set is actually really detailed, and I'm really glad I bought it. The helmet is also really unique with a yellow visor. The fifth set I bought was Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. Now, this is a set I've wanted for a long time, but I always thought it was way too expensive, and I got it at Whoppy Bricks for $20. And I think the reason it was so cheap is because it is missing three pieces. It's missing these two green pieces on the right wing, and it's missing one of these upside-down sloped pieces. But I don't really mind, because I think I might be able to find those in my collection. But one of the main reasons I bought this was the R2-D2. Never thought that sentence would ever come out of my mouth. Now, this isn't just any ordinary R2-D2. It actually has a back printing on it, which I think this is the first R2-D2 or one of the first to have that. And that makes him unique. The Yoda in this set is also different from the one I already have in the way that he is the Clone Wars version. And you can see subtle differences in the torso print. The final retired set I bought was this Resistance Transport Pod. And I have heard a lot of bad things about this set, but I gotta say this set might actually be one of my favorite Lego sets of all time. I know, that's really weird, but there is so many play features on it, and a lot of them involve interior space. There is a huge cockpit, which you can fit both of the minifigures, and there's also a spot in the back where you can put BB-8. There's a whole bunch more play features on this set, but I'm gonna go more depth into them in my review. The minifigures in the set are okay. We have Finn, Rose, and of course BB-8, and it was a great set to round out the haul. So there you have it, guys. That was my Lego Star Wars Retired Sets haul. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and if you're ever in West Bend, Wisconsin, be sure to check out Wabi Bricks.